Hello people tube and welcome back to another review. So today I'm reviewing the film which has an interesting name and when I seen the announcement for it I was like damn I gotta watch that. It's called The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then the Bigfoot starring Sam Elliott as a World War II veteran who killed Hitler. Well the government comes to him because it seems that the plague has been unleashed because Bigfoot is sick and his plague is killing people. So it's up to Sam Elliott to put on his bootstraps with his fucking guns and go hunt Bigfoot because he's a legendary tracker. This film is not what you would think it would be. It, it kind of shows itself as like a 70s grindhouse film but it gives you a story that can actually be heartfelt and enjoyable the man that killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot isn't too, like, big on the plot that it killed Hitler and then Bigfoot. The movie Down to Its Gills is truly a film about one man and his journey through life and his love, which he never proposed to. He tried numerous times and couldn't do it. It's basically the story about how he never got the woman he wanted. Now he's just this kind of, well, I'm not going to say crabby, because he's not really crabby. He's just kind of this old guy who's haunted by the memories of his his lost love and killing Hitler. Because Hitler turned, turned out to be the only man that he ever killed. And he's haunted by it. Haunted by the Hitler's death and how he killed him. He's haunted by the fact that he never got his one true love. And he's now even more haunted that he had to kill Bigfoot. This movie's actually pretty decent. Uh, the acting is good. Uh, the plot itself, like I said, don't come into this expecting a, a straight-up brawler. Or this guy coming in to kick Hitler's ass and he's going to kick Bigfoot's ass. It's not your typical hero film. Um, and it's not your typical grindhouse film full of blood and all that. This movie is, in nature... More of a drama with grindhouse themes and an interesting plot thrown in. I really enjoyed this film. It's not what I expected, and I'm kind of glad it wasn't. Now, did I want a really fun movie about an old man that has to kill um, Hitler and Bigfoot? Yeah. Did I get that? Yeah, mostly. Is it a good movie? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a fun just sort of waste your time movie that's not it's not like Kobo with a shotgun that goes total balls to the wall this is more along the lines of a grounded grindhouse film without the blood and it takes itself serious and it does a good job doing it. I've seen a lot of these over the top films that do try to take themselves serious and they kind of fail because they're you know they're over the top but this one in the scenes that were um you know, drawn out, where they expressed emotion and the acting, they did good on. The only, th I do have some issues, um, some of the scenes are cut short, which I have, if, like, one of the scenes with Sam Elliott climbing up a cliff, I don't like the fact that they cut it like they did in that scene, but I do understand Sam Elliott is an older man, and he couldn't really climb the cliff as well as, you know, he's supposed to be able to in the movie, so it's understandable. But there are scenes during, like, the Bigfoot fight, which, you know, he's fighting Bigfoot. It doesn't really make sense to cut just random scenes, unless they're going with style. But even then, it still doesn't fit it, like, all that well. Does that mean it's a bad movie? Hell no, this movie's enjoyable. It's a really enjoyable film. It's not bad at all. And there are some really well-directed scenes. There are some good landscape shots. And a lot of scenes are pretty. And it's a enjoyable film. I would definitely give The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then Bigfoot a thumbs up. And if you do need a repetitive number scale, I would give it a 7 out of 10 and will tell you to watch it. It's actually on Hulu right now and it's definitely worth a watch. So do make sure you check out the man that killed Hitler. Er, ugh, shit, the man who killed Hitler, and then the Bigfoot, because I don't think you'll be disappointed.